now that you have a better understanding of what NFT DAO is, let me expand our vision for the um, for the boxcar. So here's this boxcar, and a lot of people right now are thinking about art as a way to go to market, and there's probably dozen or two uh, of proposals that are just focused on art. But that's not the only thing that can go in a boxcar. Think about NFTs in terms of insurance. Think of NFTs in terms of contracts. Think of NFTs in terms of concert tickets. There's all kinds of things that can be put in the boxcar, and these can be individual stood up businesses that all of these 89 people want to create. And so by open sourcing a boxcar that everybody can use, we get better use of our funds in the Catalyst project. One of the interesting things that we're looking at for fund four and fund five is working with Glow from mutual knowledge. The Glow language allows us to start bringing people in from the ETH world who have um, NFT projects and growing the ecosystem. So all in all, we're working on several different things at the same time, but part of the NFT DAO is to think about things like, you know, I'm going to blow this out here, right? And if you just think of this as NFT DAO, it's comprised of a Holonic architecture right now, and that includes a marketing Holon, a governance Holon, a developer hold on, and um, there's the miscellaneous stuff around uh, standards and uh, metadata, which is sort of part of the dev hold on, but this is really more focused on building something. This is about talking through what are the right standards that we, we build to. So if you take any one of these, you can build this Holonic architecture out even further, and you can take marketing, and marketing is built with a bunch of holons, right? It's product marketing, it becomes um, uh, social constructs, how do, uh, how do we get the messaging out? Um, it's research and development, right? What kind of research are we doing to create things? So you can see a Holonic architecture is um, autonomous, and cooperative. Those are the, uh, the values that create um, holons. And so basically, in a hierarchical structure, all of these communicate together. So what does that look like? What is a hierarchy? We're all familiar with hierarchies. The hierarchy is basically like this. And it has a command and control from the top down. Um, heterarchies are very, very similar, but there doesn't need to be command and control from the top down. All of these can communicate wherever they are in the system. There doesn't need to be a um, hierarchical structure. So that's what heterarchy is. Why that's important in a DAO structure is as everybody is autonomous and cooperative, there's a lot of communication that needs to happen. And 
um, uh, Hellenic architecture is really based on the communication that occurs. So building out the communication structure is probably the most important. Maybe the world is all fouled up, but we sure don't have to do our bit to make it worse.